let's once again get back to what we were discussing uh, uh, how exactly the city is reacting to the ban that we showed you how buses are applying autos to applying and this is the scene in the railway station uh, as you can see there are people coming in going out trains are functioning is uh, what we understand but uh, of course uh, it is understood as you can see a lot of police deployment the CRP of Javans are also present there and uh, things looking very much normally in the railway station yes and uh, not too much of a crowd there a lot more people usually uh, during this time of the day but uh, while of course there is a reduced number the trains are uh, going ahead and uh, functioning smoothly absolutely no delays and no uh, chaotic scenes being witnessed in these railway stations and besides that a lot of police present in the railway station as well to ensure that nothing untoward takes place. We were joined in by Mr. Shivanna, who is uh, the president of the Taxi Drivers Association. Mr. Shivanna, will taxis be supporting the band? No, no, we don't want to support this one. Already, government, government has taken a lot of decisions. Okay. So, that's why we don't want to support uh, this, this matter. Right. Mr. Shivanna, considering that this bond has been called for by pro-Canada activists, do you fear that your taxi drivers will be uh, targeted by these uh, activists? No, madam. That is uh, some other uh, people, other uh, airport taxi people, they are giving... But we are Bangalore Tourist Taxi Owner Association, we don't give the support, madam. Right. Uh, Mr. Shivanna, also, of course, uh, do, uh, have you increased your fares, keeping in mind today is a bond? No, madam, no. We don't increase. Right. Uh, also, uh, Mr. Shivanna, do you believe that maybe your taxes could be targeted because you're not supporting the bond? Yes, madam, yes. Right, right, Mr. Shivana, thank you so much for talking to News 9 and uh, taking us through exactly uh, what the taxi is planned to do in uh, the city. And uh, the president of the Taxi Drivers Association telling us that uh, they will not be supporting the bond. They will continue to ply back and forth. Some of the other associations may have chosen, for example, uh, the Airport Taxi Association, we understand, may not be functioning today. But uh, this particular uh, Taxi Driver Association is very much on the roads. And uh, meanwhile, jewel shop owners lend, uh, have lent their support to the Bengaluru Bund. The jewelry shops will remain closed till 6 p.m. across the city as they lend support for the Bund. And of course, uh, even as we're looking at theatres, malls are all remaining closed. Jewelry showrooms also will be closed for the day. They will open, however, at 6 p.m. Remember, this is a Bund that starts from 6 a.m., goes up till 6 p.m. Post that these jewelry shops will open, but as of now, all of them remaining shut, showing their solidarity with the issue at hand. And there you have it, all of them putting up a, a signboard saying that they will remain shut today because of the impending bond. And meanwhile, we understand uh, that uh, even as Bengaluru remains tense because of the call for bond over increasing crimes against women, it is getting a mixed response. But they're leaving nothing to chance there. The police have ensured that Sidra Maya's house has turned into a fortress of sorts as all protests by pro-Canada organizations do lead to the chief minister's residence. Uh, DGP uh, Lal Rukuma Pachao has also visited the CM's residence. They are trying to ensure that uh, foolproof security is provided for his uh, official residence, his office as well as his home. And uh, besides that, of course, it is understood that uh, they are uh, ensuring that uh, uh, the chief minister is kept safe. No sort of scenes of vandalism, galata is witnessed in the area. And uh, this is keeping in mind the fact that all the organizations have stated quite simply that their protests will culminate outside the chief minister's residence demanding for action. Keeping that in mind, uh, we are looking at a huge uh, number of police personnel present there. As you can see, barricades also kept on the ready so that if, in fact, the protesters turn up there, they will stop them from a certain distance from the chief minister's residence, hoping, of course, that they do not get too close to the house and ensuring that things are kept under control. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, the DGP, uh, Pachav himself, has uh, gone ahead and uh, met with the chief minister and ensured that uh, the police uh, have uh, provided foolproof security to him.
under a course of And uh, even as we're talking about the security measures put in place, not just at the chief minister's residence, but across the city, my colleague uh, Nabila sought more clarity from the additional commissioner of law and order, Mr. Alok Kumar. Here's what he had to say. Even though the government has not announced an official bund, the police department of Bengaluru is doing everything it can to facilitate this protest today. Uh, uh, providing more than 17,000 police personnel, uh, it seems like uh, uh, additional uh, Commissioner Law and Order Alok Kumar is uh, on his foot and out there. Let's ask him, sir, uh, so far you've gauged the situation. Has there been any uh, unlawful acts reported so far? No, till now there has not been any act of violence or any act of forceful closure of shops. So it has been uh, uh, perfectly peaceful. Mm -hmm. And our people, they are on their toes since last midnight and will continue to be uh, there on the duty till evening. Mm -hmm. So sufficient manpower has been uh, deployed and even uh, that KSRP and uh, Home Guard, they are there to supplement our strength. Yeah. And we have deployed even two companies of BSF. Mm -hmm. And uh, strict instruction has been given to the officers to deal firmly with the anti-social elements. If they indulge in any kind of violence, then a strict action will be taken against them. We will book criminal cases as well as we'll, uh, we are going to open rowdy shit against them. Mm -hmm. Last night only we have detained around 1200 persons in the whole city who has a history of uh, rowdyism or anti-social activities okay. as, a major, as a precautionary measure. And uh, in, during daytime also, if uh, there is any uh, hint that they are going to indulge in violence or any forceful activity, we are going to apprehend them. Sir, uh, you have uh, deployed uh, how many police personnel altogether? See, it will be around, I think that it will be around 10, uh, 10 to 11, or like whole police force is on the road, I can say that whole law and order police is on the road, even traffic people, they are on the road. All uh, even uh, other non-executive officers uh, working in D, working in CCRB, working in intelligence, they are also on the road. So the whole city police, they are on duty today. They are attending to this is, bandhawas. Is it uh, after uh, six as well or, or early dawn to dusk, like the way the protest? They, they, have, the protest. they have announced that uh, the down to dusk. So uh, we will be uh, up to six o'clock, our bandhawas will uh, continue. And after that, we'll take a stock of the situation. And uh, the organizers, they have assured us that it will be peaceful. So we will cooperate with them till it is peaceful. If anything untoward is there, then we are going to take uh, stringent action. Sir, have you identified a few black spots in the in the city? Has yeah, there been any sort of report? Uh, no, there is no report. We have, on the basis of the past incident, we have mapped the area and accordingly we have deployed our person. All right, sir. Can you tell us, uh, there are a lot of people, uh, you know, uh, a lot of establishments have shut down. Uh, there seems to be a lukewarm response to the protests here. Uh, do you have any word of advice for all those who want to come out now and open their shops and uh, start functioning normally? Bangalore City Police is there to give them full protection. Whoever wants to lead their life in normal way, whether it is any mall, whether it is a shopping complex, whether it is any shop, whether it is any government, uh, this, uh, uh, this school, whether it is college, whether it is any other establishment, we are there to give them full protection. And if anyone comes and threatens us, uh, threaten these people or intimidate these people or try to forcibly close them, we are going to take, uh, take in stringent action against them. Right, sir. Is the police department standing for the cause? We have seen, you, you must have seen in the past that the way to uh, support this cause, we are doing in our own way. We have booked any case which has come to the notice of police department. With all seriousness, we have registered the case. We have registered the accused person. That is the way we can uh, probably help this cause. And police department probably we are trying to do our best. Thank you so much, sir. Well, that was uh, additional Commissioner Law and Order Alok Kumar speaking to us, telling us that uh, security has been beefed up. He's reassuring all those of you who uh, want to start up, uh, start, open up your uh, establishments and start functioning normally. He assures that security will be provided. Uh, let's hope this protest uh, uh, does send out a strong message there against the number of rape cases that have been reported. With camera person Jabba, this is Nabila for News 9. And uh, well, even as uh, Alok Kumar has promised support to everyone who remains open, uh, all theatres and malls have decided not to take the risk. They've extended their support to the Bund and no movies will be screened at the theatres in the malls today. Forum Mall, Garuda, Gopal and Mantri have decided not to screen movies today. And uh, well, uh, clearly uh, most of them remaining shot.